Coffee Around the Globe, a travel guide. Did you know that more than 50 nations around the globe produce coffee? Coffee's final flavour can be influenced by a wide range of factors, including the plant variety, the soil's chemistry, the climate, the quantity of rain and sunshine, and even the particular height at which the coffee is grown. The differences between coffees from various nations, growing regions and plantations around the world are mostly due to these crucial factors, as well as the methods used to process the cherries after they have been gathered. Even within the same plantation, the combination of elements is so complicated that there are variations in quality and flavour. Do you want to take a trip around the globe and learn about the distinct coffee types in each nation? Just keep on watching to find out about how coffee is made and served in different areas of the world. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, let's get into the video. United States slash Hawaii Although there are coffee farms on all of the Hawaiian islands, Kona coffee from the big island of Hawaii is the most well-known and is in constant demand. On the slopes of the volcanic Mauna Loa volcano, nature has created the ideal habitat for the coffee trees to flourish. It frequently seems like farmers are growing seedlings in rock when young trees are put in black, volcanic soil that is so fresh. Tropical clouds' afternoon shade creates a natural canopy over the trees, shielding them from the hot heat, and frequent island showers provide the plants with the ideal amount of rain. In order to produce a beautifully rich, aromatic cup with a medium body, Kona coffee is meticulously prepared. Mexico Although there are over 100,000 coffee farmers in Mexico, small farms are more popular than large estates, making Mexico one of the world's top producers of the beverage. The southern states of Chiapas, Oaxaca and Veracruz are home to the majority of farms. Mexican coffee typically has a rich scent and complex flavour, frequently with a noticeable sharpness. It works well for dark roasts and is frequently included in mixers. A coffee from Mexico with the designation Altura was grown at a high elevation. Puerto Rico The coffee industry, like the rest of the island, is famed for its great hospitality. In addition to visiting cafes and drinking coffee, people can learn more about Puerto Rican coffee by visiting haciendas, which are plantations where coffee beans are cultivated. What distinguishes Puerto Rican coffee is a combination of where it is grown and how it is prepared. The volcanic soil of the island, as well as the fact that the coffee is cultivated at altitude, up to 3,500 feet above sea level and in the shadow, bring out those exceptional tastes. Guatemala Although Guatemalan coffee may not be as well known as some of its neighbours in Central and South America, many people adore it for its robust flavour. Antigua, Coban and Huetenango are the three main growth areas, and each has an awe-inspiringly untamed scenery and fertile volcanic soil. The quality and flavour of the strictly hard beans, grown at elevations of 4,500 feet or 1,370 metres or above, are significantly influenced by microclimates. This coffee has a medium to heavy body and a rich, complex flavour that almost tastes spicy or chocolatey. Costa Rica Only wet-produced Arabicas are produced in Costa Rica. It's frequently referred to as having the ideal balance due to its medium body and pronounced acidity. Coffee in Costa Rica is primarily farmed on tiny farms or fincas. As soon as the cherries are harvested, they are transported to cutting-edge processing plants called beneficios, where the wet method of processing is started. Costa Rica's reputation for high-quality coffee has been developed via thorough processing, diligent farming practices and other factors. Colombia Colombia, which ranks second globally in annual production, is arguably the most well-known coffee-producing country in the world. On thousands of tiny family farms around the nation, a high standard of excellence is upheld with tremendous pride and meticulous growing. These efforts lead to dependably excellent light coffees 
with a well-balanced acidity. The rocky Colombian terrain offers the ideal natural environment for growth, but it is challenging to transfer the harvested coffee beans to the centers for manufacturing and shipment. Excelso grade is softer and somewhat more acidic than Colombian Supremo, the highest grade, which possesses a delicate, fragrant sweetness. Ethiopia. It's not difficult to think that coffee originated in Ethiopia, where wild coffee tree forests are still the main source of harvesting. According to coffee legend, the first coffee trees were discovered there. Ethiopian coffee is typically wet processed and originates from one of the three primary growing regions, Sidamo, Harar or Kaffa. An Ethiopian coffee typically makes a striking and assertive statement in the cup by being full flavored, somewhat earthy and full. Vietnam Vietnamese coffee was first introduced to the country by French missionaries in the middle of the 19th century, who imported Arabica trees from the island of Bourbon and planted them near Tonkin. The coffee business has lately been revived, and it is expanding so quickly that Vietnam is quickly overtaking other countries as one of the top producers. Today, Robusta coffee is largely grown on small plantations in the southern part of the nation. Vietnamese coffee, which has a gentle body, soft acidity and good balance, is widely utilized in blending. Are you a travel enthusiast who enjoys coffee? The fact that drinking coffee is a significant daily routine for many cultures around the world gives you additional motivation to travel and pursue your interest. There is so much to learn about how other cultures enjoy coffee, from the lively cafes of South America to the kitchens of Vietnam to the high-tech neighborhoods of the United States. Now that you've learned a little bit more about how coffee is made and enjoyed around the globe, let us know in the comments below which country you would like to visit to try their coffee.